How I make my worlds apart images. This is my new version with added features and an improved performance. I'll be demonstrating two unique add-on programs, namely Backscrubber and Spinomatic, which produce some unbelievable results. Stay on long enough and you'll be able to access my special bonus level. Now, once you've uh, collected your photographs together, um, the first stage is to um, go through each one and remove the background. So the first little program I'm going to show you is called Backscrubber. Um, with this program, there, there is no messing around with magic wand and lasso tools. It's one click does the trick. So uh, we'll activate the program by clicking on the button here that's found in the left hand menu. That uh, brings out the controls and this very, very simple controls to set. So we're just going to um, set these controls. Uh, we want an automatic setting. Uh, we want to remove the background. We're going to be using yeah, the, the mouse pointer. Uh, we needn't worry about the extras. Right now, one click on the subject matter, which in this case is our statue of King Richard. And it nicely highlights the background for us. So back to the menu and we're going to click pull the plug and send the background uh, down the drain. Now, once we've removed the background, we're going to copy that image. And on my next screen, uh, you can see I've pasted it onto a square file where I've already added a piece of sky uh, to the four edges. Now, continue building up this file by placing all your other bits of photographs, work around the edges and uh, gradually fill up the middle. Don't worry about um, any particular order or, or size, just randomly um, drop them in. Uh, when we apply the final spin to the image, uh, that will sort everything out and place everything in its best position. So to get the uh, spin on the image, my second program I'm going to demonstrate is called Spinomatic. And the button is for it on the top here, along with these other three buttons. So there's the Spinomatic button. Click that and uh, the controls come out. Now, many of you like myself uh, may struggle to get your head around these controls. Um, I actually called my wife over, uh, over earlier and, and just got her to make sure that these are all set correctly. So she said, don't tamper with that one. So I shall leave that there. And she's got that button there um, switched um, or, or clicked. So um, we'll leave that there. And um, we're on spin there. Um, these here, I'm not sure what those are. I think they're the ink levels. And she's got it on a, a fast setting. So we're going to give it a spin and see what we get. now. My screen uh, video recorder might struggle to show the true spinning of this image, but I'm sure you'll get the idea of what's happening. Now, so as it spins, it's going to resize and reorganize everything and put everything into its sort of best fit. Now, <laughs> in this case, um, we've spun that too fast because um, it's just gone over the top with that. Now, um, back to the control panel, um, revert the image. And uh, let's put, put this on a, let's try a slow setting. It may be too slow, but we'll, we'll give it a go. So as it spins, it's going to resize and reorganize everything and put everything in its, its rightful position. Now the computer's struggling to sort this out. We've spun this too slowly, I can tell. Yeah, it's made a, it's made a right mess of the uh, image. So back to the controls again, uh, revert the image and um, let's um, move that down to medium and let's uh, hopefully go one more. So as it spins, it's going to resize and reorganize everything for us and, and hopefully give us the image that uh, we've been wanting. Brilliant, Now and there we have it. Now that is, a, it's a great program to play with. You get some great results from playing around with various uh, uh, bits of photographs. So uh, I think that's good enough to frame. Now, stay watching to see a selection of my Worlds Apart images, uh, which also includes some of my spin art collection. And if you've been, enjoyed um, watching my video, please like and share it with your friends. Thank you very much.